Okay, imagine you're asked by an experimenter to say how yummy a biscuit is. You're not allowed to eat it just yet, you have to look at it in a jar. Now, this biscuit is either in the jar with only one other biscuit, or it's sitting there looking enticing with nine other biscuits. If we ask a whole lot of people to rate how much they'd like the biscuits in both of these jars, what do you think they'd say? Warshall Lee and Adderwall did exactly this. What they found was surprising. When there were only two biscuits in the jar compared to ten, the biscuits were rated as being more enticing. So you're sitting there looking at a nice big pile of ten biscuits in that jar. You're going to get to eat one soon. What would happen if out of the blue a second experimenter walked into the room before you had made your ratings? This new experimenter explains to the first experimenter that the people in his room have eaten more of the biscuits than he expected. He asks if he can borrow some biscuits. The first experimenter then suggests that it would just be easier to swap jars. So, now you're looking at a jar containing only two biscuits. Interestingly, when you start by rating the biscuits in the jar with ten of them, and the jar is taken away and replaced with a jar now only containing two biscuits, the ratings of the biscuits become even more positive than when participants only ever saw the jar containing two biscuits. So what's going on? Well, the scarcity of the biscuits, or how available they are, is influencing how much we want them. When there's a drop from abundance of biscuits, when the jar contains ten, to only two biscuits, it seems that they're in high demand. Lots of other people like those biscuits, so they must be good. So, social factors can also influence our preferences or persuade us because they can make us think that others value a particular product. It's in high demand after all, and so we value that product more as well. This works the other way too. When we start out with only a couple of biscuits in the jar, but that jar is then replaced with ten biscuits because people in the other room are not eating as many as expected, we then don't like those biscuits as much as before.